Sometimes the police require a picture of a person for identification. The person may be missing or wanted for questioning. The police are able to construct this picture with the help of a witness using an identikit. An identikit matches up pictures of individual face parts with descriptions which the witness gives. There are thousands of possibilities and the process can take some time. See if you can work out the identity of the person whose picture is being constructed here. supposed to be me. What do you think? A real police identikit takes thousands of hours to prepare, but we're going to make one now that you can make yourself in about mm, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Not as good as the real ones, but a lot of fun. Here's what you do. You start with a whole lot of sheets of paper and you keep in mind those combination books that you had when you were young. Do you remember those? Books that had sections that you could flip over independently and maybe build up lots of different stories or strange and wonderful pictures. That's the sort of thing that we're going to make. But to begin with, just blank sheets of paper. And you'll start by drawing circles. These are the outlines of the faces. If you like, find a cup or a can that's about the right size and draw circle after circle with your pen. Actually, if you have a photocopier or know somebody who has access to a photocopier, that'll save you a lot of time. You can make them all identical that way. If you don't want to use circles, you can use oval shapes, ellipses, or any other shape that you like. I'm going to use this shape for my faces. And I'm going to build up the faces in four sections. Imagine a line across the head in about this position, another one right through the center, and another one a little below the center. You know as well as I do that the top section of the head will tell us something about the kind of hair that the person has. The next section, should have the ears on, and also it'll have the eyes in it. There we are, and the eyebrows. The third section will have the nose, and perhaps a moustache if it's a man, and the fourth section will have the mouth, and perhaps a beard. So those are the things that we'll have to keep in mind when we're building up our identikit pictures. Now, I'd suggest to you that you take about mm, eight to 10 sheets. And if you like some pieces of cardboard as well, to use as covers, and then line them up carefully. Make sure that one sheet is exactly over the top of the other sheet so that the outlines of the heads all line up. And then put a cardboard cover on the front and a cardboard cover on the back. Shake them down like that. Make sure they're all lined up correctly, and they are. And then staple the whole thing together with some staples. Do all that first. Now you have the basis of your identikit book. Then you take a pair of sharp scissors or a safety knife, and you cut through the pages. Not the covers, but the pages. You cut through in this position here, first of all. That's cut number one. And then you cut number two along that line, cut number three along that line. And so you have a book that's made up of separate sections. I've already done that, and I've partially completed my identikit flip book, and here it is. Let's see how far we've gone. You can see that I started off by thinking of the hairline and the different kinds that we could get. Well, I thought, I have 10 pages in this one. I'll use five of them for dark hair and five for blonde hair. And I began by drawing in straight hair parted on one side. The next page, curly dark hair. And then dark hair making a fringe. The next one, spiky hair or a crew cut. And the fifth one, bald with just a little bit of hair at the side. And then the same five possibilities in blonde hair. Right, section number two, what do we do there? Lots of different kinds of eyes. 
wide open eyes, almond shaped eyes, small beady eyes, close together eyes and so on. With thin eyebrows first of all, then thick eyebrows. Noses, thin, thick, turned up noses with and without moustaches. Mouths, some smiling, some thin, some crooked, some chins with beards, some without. And in that way, I've built up a flip book, an identikit flip book, which you can use for playing games with your friends. You can take it in turns building up the face of a friend or relative and see who's first to guess the identity of the person, right? Just think about that. How many different combinations do you think you'd get out of a simple book like that with 10 pages cut into sections? Think of a number. I wonder what you said. Just imagine if we had only two sections. It would be 10 times 10 or 100 possibilities. We have four sections here, so the number of combinations is 10 times 10, that's 100, times 10 again, that's 1,000, times 10 again, that's 10,000 possibilities in that simple little identikit flip book. And that's only a fraction of the number you can get with the real police identikits. Let's go back to the police department and see if you can recognise the next person. Similar, but different. Rather like this, what would you call this? A pocket knife or a pen knife? Obviously, because 